Hi, I'm going to show you uh, how to basically list all of the candy machines and uh, effectively set up a candy machine monitor to see when new candy machines are deployed to mainnet. So uh, just really quick, what is a candy machine? A candy machine is an, uh, in basically an instantiation of this smart contract uh, called the candy machine smart contract. Uh, and so what it is, is it's basically an account that stores in a collection of NFT, NFTs that have effectively not yet been purchased. So when the candy machine launches, this collection can be purchased. And so sometimes you want to be able to monitor the, um, the blockchain to be able to see when a new candy machine is uploaded. Um, that might tell you a few things. It might tell you one that you were already aware of and now it's on there and maybe you're even able to mint it before they announce. Um, or it might tell you of one that's about to be announced. So let's um, let's do this, um, and it's pretty easy to do. So we're going to use the blockchain API, and um, let me just do a couple things here. I have to click float on top, and then okay, and then let's just create a new little uh, file here. Just call it a uh, list candy machines .py. And yeah, so this, this process is going to be basically pretty easy because all we're using is this API so that I'm the founder of. And you go down here, Solana Candy Machine, and list all candy machines. So if you know how to use a, a um, API, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, and um, you, know, you, you can see them here. So uh, all right, and so yeah, that's basically the idea. Uh, and just so to explain quickly what these are, so there's V1, V2, and uh, Magic Eden V1. So, so uh, basically, just ignore this. Uh, I actually should remove this from the documentation, but this is basically just V1. So, V1. There used to be a ver version one of Candy Machine. Candy Machines can no longer be created on V1. So this list is actually static now. Um, and so V2 is probably what you care about. And then there's also the Magic Eden candy machines. Um, okay, so uh, I just clicked see examples that brought me to this tab. And uh, we're just gonna use a Python wrapper, but we have several other wrappers uh, as you can see here. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You know, list all of them. <laughs> How many are they? And when was the last updated? Okay. Um, so we can basically actually just put this in here. Uh, we don't even have to type it. And uh, the only thing you might be missing is you might want to install the blockchain API. So just make sure, uh, you know, you can just do this here, pip install the blockchain API. You can upgrade it if it's the wrong one. Um, and you can install it over here by clicking this thing and then interpreter settings and then the little plus. Okay, so now you just need an API key pair. Uh, so we can go here create API keepers. This is dashboard.blockchainapi.com. So you just go on there, create a free account, and uh, get started. Okay. So let's list all of them. Okay, so it's updated every 15 minutes. You see here is last updated 13 minutes ago. There are uh, 22,000 V1 candy machines. It will basically stay that way. There are 4,000 V2 candy machines and 53 Magic Eden candy machines, okay? So now what you can do, um, which I'm not gonna show here, but it's you know it's just simple Python file operations. What you can do is you wanna save this to a file, right? So you'd go something like with, you know, f or with open my file dot, you know, JSON as FP and you'd go, you know, like FP write and json.dumps, right, uh, this result, okay? So you'd, this is basically what you do. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but look, I'm already doing it. Okay, um, you, and effectively you write this to the file and then you can reload it. So, um, and then you just, then you basically uh, can later open it again, right? My file.json, obviously that won't work because it's spelled wrong, but you know, as fp, Import JSON. Well, actually, you don't need it. Yeah, JSON dot loads fp dot read something like that. M this might not work exactly, but basically, then then you get the uh, old CMs, right? So this is like a different function, 
and you would get the old CMs and then you can compare this to the new thing that you pull up here to see what changed okay so that's how you can have this little monitor going on and you can do this you know once a day uh, you know maximum worthwhile is every 15 minutes because we only update the list every 15 minutes so um, yeah okay alright so that's the idea thank you